Hi Alicia, I'm Taylor. I'm going to be your occupational therapist for today. We're going to be measuring the amount of motion you have in your finger going this way away from your middle finger using this device. We're going to have you place your hand on the table with your palm down, your forearm and wrist in neutral. To measure abduction at the second digit, I would first line the fulcrum up at the MCP joint of the second digit. I would line the stationary arm up with the midline of the second metacarpal and the movable arm in line with the proximal phalanx of the second digit. Alicia, when I tell you to, you can move your index finger towards you. Go ahead. Okay, that's about 25 degrees abduction. You can return to normal. To figure out normal range of motion for this joint, I would measure the unaffected side. To measure adduction at this joint, you align the goniometer in the same position, and it should be at zero. If not, you would then go on and measure. For passive range of motion of abduction at the second digit, you would line up the fulcrum at the MCP joint of the second digit the stationary arm in line with the midline of the second metacarpal, and the movable arm in line with the proximal phalanx of the second digit. You would guide your client's finger through the motion of abduction. You tell me when you start to feel discomfort. Right there. Right there. That's about 15 degrees abduction. Again, to measure normal, I would measure the unaffected side.